And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about Jesus' work and how the Pharisees and scribes reacted to Jesus with complaints about the practice of his disciples. Jesus taught that a whole new system was coming into place, a new covenant where God would deal with his people on the principle of grace and not law. We also learned about the Sabbath and fasting. Someone might ask the question, should a Christian practice fasting? Fasting should not be thought of as an obligation or a command to follow. The Jews of Jesus' time fasted ritualistically because of their traditions and not because it was commanded in the scriptures. Nowhere are Christians commanded to fast. Having said that, we do recognize that many Jews and Christians did fast and for various reasons. Fasting is associated with sorrow, repentance, and times of intensive prayer. Fasting has no particular spiritual value to it as though abstaining from food will bring us more favor from God. Fasting should simply be the result of spending concentrated time in prayer. When we eat, we tend to become tired and lose concentration. But when a person is fasting, they can use all their energy and faculties to focus on the important matters of prayer. There may be times in life when a person is very seriously concerned about some particular matter and they really want to seek God earnestly and so they devote themselves to prayer. Because of the intensity of prayer, they do not bother to take time to eat. There are other times when a person's heart may be very sorrowful or deeply concerned about something and so they simply lose interest in eating. Fasting should never be thought of as a religious requirement or something that makes us more spiritual, giving us more power with God. Fasting is simply the result of sorrow or intensity in prayer which causes us to neglect eating for a time. We should also be aware that some people are not able to fast as it would cause them health concerns. Some people require daily food or they will compromise their health. And so Christians should be very cautious when advising other people about the practice of fasting. There are some health benefits to fasting one day a week for those who choose to do so for that reason. Fasting as a spiritual exercise should be done with the understanding that it has no spiritual value of itself but does afford quality time in prayer. It can also display a humble spirit before God when we are earnestly appealing in prayer for something that we consider very important. It is completely up to individual Christians whether they will fast or not, but it should never be expected or forced on anyone for the scripture never commands Christians to fast. Jesus also warns us not to let people know when you are fasting, but to wash our face so we do not appear to others to be fasting. The prideful display of supposed spirituality by letting people know we are fasting is detestable in God's sight. That makes fasting a mere show in the flesh and not an exercise of the spirit. Some Christians may choose to fast regularly either for health reasons or for aiding them in their prayers. But no Christian should be made to feel bad if they do not or cannot fast. The fruit of the Spirit is joy, not sorrow, and the Christian who is rejoicing in his salvation and enjoying God's goodness can eat his food with gladness and praise his God. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart. Acts chapter 2 verse 46